welcome viewers of EduTV with more than 4 lakh viewers across the world. Today, we are in school's principles favorite program. It's a matter of principles. This is Pranav Gaut Hakurta, founder of EduTV. Our eminent guest today is Mrs. Joshi, the famous Mrs. Renuka Joshi. Mrs. Joshi is a dynamic leader and educationalist serving as a principal of Ashoka Universal School and Junior College, Nasik. She is particularly skilled in faculty management, parental dealing, initiative designing, and administrative tasks. She has a consistent track record of ensuring the alignment of instructional program with approved curriculum and has documented success by initiating and implementing effective teachers training programs. Welcome, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Happy to be here. Thank you. Now, Mr. Joshi, we would like to have your advice on how a passive and reluctant learner can be transformed into active and enthusiastic learner. Over to you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, sir, for this wonderful question, actually, because this will require 360 degree transformation. What we talk about learning, it has to be active learning. Till now, we were talking about teacher centric class, and now there has to be a complete shift. This shift will go completely towards learner. The classroom has to be learner centric. And we always know that teachers have to be like catalyst. They have to enhance the teaching learning process. They should not get exhausted in the entire process. There are various strategies you can do for it. Let's talk about primary classes. Now, what can we do in our primary classes? In our primary classes, we can have activities like think, pair, and share. In that, the students can sit together. They can think. The teachers can ask open-ended questions to them. They can pair, they can collaborate, and then everybody will come out with their own reflections. This is how a reluctant learner will also come up and will put forth views. If we talk about higher classes, we can have flipped classroom model. Now, what exactly is a flipped model? In a flipped model, the teacher declares a topic, students goes home, and he does entire research, and next day he comes up and he presents the research and the teachers are going to act like guide and they're going to tell us that what and where they went wrong so here you can see the teacher is not at all in the role of teaching but the teacher is acting just as a catalyst just as a felicitator and just finding out that where the child has gone wrong then we have various methods like project-based learning give them the project let's say you're teaching them morphology of plants Rather than making your class mundane and telling them that this is how the plant looks and this is uh, the texture of the leaves and venations, tell them to make a herbarium. Take them in the garden, ask them to collect leaves, dehydrate the plants, make a superb herbarium and then let the child touch the leaf, find out the venation, find out how does the texture, venation, effects of the leaf look like. So there are various ways. Then you can give them some research work. Let's talk about history now. How history can be made interesting. Rather than telling them about the years of uh, the revolutions, let them do a proper research. Link it with what is happening today and let them come up with their own research work. You can use role plays also where English teachers can ask them to depict the dramas and then we can have enactment on it. So yes, definitely transformation will be required for this. And as the teachers, we should all know that we are talking to multiple intelligence in the class. According to Howard Garner, we all know that everybody is not auditory learner. Some are visuals, some are bodily kind aesthetics. So our teaching should have combination of all of them all together. So yes, it's a little dif difficult, but yes, when teachers know the base, that if uh, a Chinese proverb also, everybody knows about it, that if I hear something, I forget. If I see, see something, I may remember, but if I do, I will definitely understand it. So it's important for us to make our teaching more action packed, and give it to them and pay, uh, make you know give give empower them and they will do their learning and we can just felicitate it and see that how it goes so yes uh, we all can do it together and that's how the schools are transforming 
I can still say that it's not you no know, yes talk talk method and this transformation is in the process. Uh, there are various new technologies also coming up: robotics, AI, augmented reality, machine learning. Now schools have STEM labs also, robotics, where the students perform. They they prepare a circuit. They also prepare robots. They they uh, prepare terrain vehicles and they demonstrate. They demonstrate in the labs and then later on they come up with theory. So it's very important for us to understand that new technologies need to be done and we should not go with old chalk and talk method. Definitely for this, the importance is our examinations too. Because if our examinations are only going to be based on pen and paper, and there will be more of summatives, naturally the students are going to learn the answers. But we should have formative assessments, we should have quiz in the classrooms, there can be small essay writing competition, creativity, so let's focus on creativity and definitely I'm very sure that we'll be soon transforming our Indian classrooms. Thank you so much ma'am. I'm impressed with your deep knowledge in teaching and I like that here, see and do. I think students will remember and I heard this word herbarium I think after 30-35 uh, years and you took me back to the memory, down to the memory lane map and as you correctly said, the group we teach is quite heterogeneous. So we should have different styles to guide a different student. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your time. I'm sure your ideas, your advice will help all the stakeholders of education. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, sir, for giving me this platform. And I'm sure that the teachers will make all the difference. Sure. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as students of Delhi Public School, Bangalore East, we, Ashriya and Melanie, are excited to announce that Edio TV has started a movement for higher education for all. We are proud to inform you that corporates and Indian private universities have joined this movement by offering scholarships to eligible schools across the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, Gulf countries, and Africa. These scholarships are based on merit, sports, extracurricular activities, need-based, principal's recommendation, innovation by students, girl scholars, wards of defense personnel, daughters and sons of teachers, admission aspirants from remote places, South country aspirants, students who studied in war zones, single parent, students with more than two siblings, and students whose parents are not eligible for bank loans. This is a fantastic opportunity for many students and we are thrilled to see the positive impact it will have on their education. We urge other school corporates and universities to join this movement and support, support higher education, education for all. Thank you. We are students from Maxwell School Dwarka, New Delhi, India. Keep watching LUTV. Keep watching Edu TV. Keep watching Edu TV. Keep watching Edu TV. Please keep watching Edu TV. Keep watching Edu TV. Keep watching Edu TV. Keep watching Edu TV. And keep watching Edu TV. 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 Thank you.